another day, another book. So today, I will be summarizing to you guys a book named Heidi. So Heidi was a little girl and she is orphaned. So her aunt decided to let her stay with her grandfather. So her grandfather lived in a very small hut up in up top of the mountain. So they have to walk for two hours to get to her grandfather's hut. So Heidi really liked, really loved to stay on the mountain because how beautiful the landscape are and she loved her grandfather. So she started to get used to the life in the mountain. So every day she go out and help her grandfather with the chores and then she go play with a boy named Peter and he has a bunch of goats. So Heidi really liked to play with the goats and she often visit Peter's grandmother. So basically she really loved to stay on the mountain. But one day her aunt said that she need to go down the city with her because she has to learn how to read and she has to learn how to write. So she didn't want to go, but at last she has to go with her aunt. So she moved down to the city and she lived in a very big house. So that is her uncle's house and her uncle have a daughter named Clara. So Clara is disabled. She can't walk and she basically can't do anything. So she just sit there all the time and she's very bored and she needs to have a friend to play with. So Heidi is the perfect girl for Clara to play with. So they soon get to know each other really fast and they become best friend. So every day Clara and Heidi started to hang out with each other a lot. They talk about a lot of things and mostly Heidi said to Clara that she loved the nature. She loved being in the sunlight, she loved being in the grass, she loved laying on the grass and smelling flowers. So Clara know that Heidi loves nature a lot. So every night Heidi can't sleep because she miss, she very miss her home. So she's homesick. So days went by and Heidi started to get sick because she missed her home dearly. So <coughs> Clara see it too and Clara told it to her father and Heidi uncle said that it's time for Heidi to go back home. So hey, when Heidi is back home, she's very happy. She has to run around, she tries to sing, she tries to meet Peter and play with the gold. And then Clara thought of an idea that she need to move in to live with Heidi. So from that day on, Clara moved into Heidi's grandfather hut and the two live with each other on the mountain so Heidi asked Clara that what is her wishes so Clara wished that she can walk like a normal girl so Heidi and Peter decided to help Clara to walk so when a week went by and Clara parent come and pick her up to the city and they're very surprised and they're very happy because their daughter can walk right now. <coughs> so Clara finally can walk like the other girls and Heidi finally can read and write. So every day she started to she run to her to Peter grandmother house and read a book to her. So Peter grandmother is very happy about the things that Heidi read and the ending is very happy, like a happy ending. And finally, Heidi and her grandfather decided to move down the city to live with Cal Clara. And they soon um, have a big happy family. So this story is mostly about a girl named Heidi who loves nature. And this story is very heartwarming. So yeah, I read this book a 10 out of 10 because it is very good. And I have read this book in Vietnamese before. I don't remember if I have made a video on it. So yeah, this is the end of this video and I hope you guys like my video. Please leave a like and subscribe. Bye.